what you guys got another video on how to hide your name your photo and your email address in windows 11 on the login screen so go to start and settings inside here you're going to see an area called accounts click on this one inside there you're looking for sign in options click on the sign in options and this will give us a few more settings down here in additional settings you can see a little toggle switch that says you can see it says show my account details such as my email address on sign in screen you can toggle this on or off now if you're on a windows 10 machine you can use the registry and you can also use group policy editor as long as you're running windows 10 pro or windows 11 pro and above so to access group policy editor type gp edit in the search box and hit edit group policy editor from here we're going to go to windows settings then we're going to go down to security settings open this one up local policies in here we're going to go to security options now in here we're going to get a lot more control on what you can actually see on the login screen so in here we're looking for interactive login so in the interactive login we're looking for display user information when the session is locked click on this one here and this will open up a little pane which we can make changes to you can see it's blank at the moment so you can see here do not display user information this is now going to remove the user information and give you much more control over what is displayed on your login screen compared to that little toggle switch that you see inside windows 11. now coming down here we're looking for don't display username at the sign in we can also enable this as well and it won't show you the username just in case you want to make it something different instead of your username displayed those two settings are now in place if you want to do it in the registry on windows 10 home or windows 11 home you can go into reg edit by typing reg edit in the search go to h key local machine then software then microsoft open this one up and then go all the way down right the way down to the bottom here and just drag this down here until we see windows click on windows open this one up and then we're going right here to current version open this one up and then we're going to come down a little bit further to where we see policies open this one up and then we're looking for system here you should see it just here and then on the right hand pane here we're looking for the keys that we created by toggling on those settings in group policy editor one of them is do not display locked user id if you don't see it there you can right click and give it a new d word 32 bit value and then name it exactly what i've got here don't display locked user id and that is the one there and you can give it a value of free just like i've got here and click ok and then you can create another one called do not display username and then give that a value of one and this will then have those set in place if you don't have the group policy editor and you should have something looking like this on login it just says other user and it doesn't display any information on the login now if you want to reset those you need to go into the registry go back here and put a zero in the do not display locked user id and don't display username and put a zero in that one as well once you've done those you can go back to the group policy and take a look and you should see not defined and that's because we've removed those policies you might find it a little bit difficult if you don't use those uh, registry keys to change it to zero because in here there is no way to reset it so when you go in here you should now see not defined and that's exactly what you want if you want to go back to the default settings this gives you a lot more control over your login display and what you're displaying on your login screen and I just think it's a little bit nicer rather than having either an email address, your photo and your name and all your information blasted all over your login screen. Now, it's probably not so much of a big deal if you're at home and only you and your family are seeing it. But if you're in a workplace, it's always nice if you want to hide all that information uh, from other people. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. That's basically how you can hide your name, your photo and your email in Windows 11 login screen and Windows 10 login screen. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.
Thank you.